Hey everybody, Jeremy from The Issues here, and I am going to be showing off some of the features that are now available in the uh, WebOS Luna CE, which was just recently released. And um, here I have my HP touchpad, which as you can see here is running the latest build of the Luna Manager um, versus my girlfriend's completely stock HP touchpad. And as you can see, Preware is not installed anywhere on this device. So <clears throat> this is a completely stock device. So what the Luna CE is doing is, um, as we can see here, it is adding some new functionality and also re-adding some old functionality that was missing on the HP touchpad. So when HP announced the touchpad, WebOS users were really excited about the larger form factor coming up for them to use and um, when it was announced they um, found out that one of the things that was going to be taken away were most of the uh, gestures that were in WebOS something that um, WebOS users um, greatly appreciated um, one of the ones that people really missed was the ability to fast app switch so here I have my HP Veer have Reddit open in the browser and something that you could do on old webOS phones was just with a swipe switch between apps just like that this is something that was lost when um, the touchpad was announced but thankfully thanks to the Luna CE is now back for us to use and what we have is actually bezel gestures so you can just swipe right over from the side I have tweaks open right now with the Luna manager which has all the different tweaks that are available in this but yeah it's really nice to be able to have this back and switch between applications um, next thing is tabbed card support which let's go ahead and hop over here tabbed cards are well, let's go ahead and pull up a stack so uh, anybody who's familiar with webOS will remember being able to have a stack of applications which was all well and good and you know the larger form factor would make you think that you'd have new ways to manage this not so initially but that is not the case anymore when you have a stack of available applications like this one right here there is actually a new and better way to manage them so instead of having to go out and click on the page that you want you can now just swipe in from the side and see a list of all the available tabs that are open and switch between them thusly. Beyond that, from here, you can even go ahead and disregard and close them and switch back to the main application. So that is a really nice feature to be able to have back. And as you can see here, just because you are in the tab view, which you can actually pull up on either side of the screen, doesn't mean that the bezel gesture to switch between applications is no longer useful so that's really nice to have back um, next thing which as you can see here I'm going from one end to the other is infinite search so um, well <clears throat> infinite um, browsing of your open applications which is actually incredibly nice especially if you're a hard multitasker um, as you can see here if we have a bunch of applications open, only thing that we can really do is go through the list, which if you're working on a project on your tablet, kind of sucks if you have like 20 things open, you're on application 20, you need to go back to one, have to go through the entire list. Right here, it's just as simple as swiping over to the side once you get to the end of the list. So that's really cool. Um, next thing is the ability to maximize cards which are on the edge so as we can see here on the stock device let's go ahead and leave the web browser in the middle let's say that I have my web browser up and you know I'm browsing my emails on the side if I need to switch really quickly back you know have to do that click on it twice which is you know not a huge inconvenience but still um, not entirely sure if the older devices allowed you to do that let's see nope yeah they just switched back and all um, back and forth too but now you no longer do that 
larger screen makes more sense to be able to you know I can see what I have open on the side so I'm pretty sure I want to go straight into it so that's a really nice feature as well um, next thing is lower brightness um, that's not really something that'll come across really well on video so let's skip that for now but we do have a status search symbol right over here which as you can see when you press it opens straight up into the search really nice thing because when you're in an application normally you have to either click the home button and click that or just double click the home button to oh, double clicking the home button brings up the app menu yeah so um, you know it's really nice when you are doing anything to just be able one click boop have search available and of course with webOS search you can either search for a application such as let's go ahead and pull up my reddit well one of my many reddit clients or even just type in a home page and just be able to go to that straight from the application that you were already in and of course, really easy if you're in it and you don't need to pull up what you thought you needed to pull up, just hit it again and it'll close out. So having that persistent search in the corner is a really nice thing. Um, another thing which some people may really get a kick out of this, other people may not care as much, is on the top corner of all WebOS devices there is a carrier string, which when um, on the phones, if you were connected to a network, would should the name of the network you're connected to, such as AT&T, um, Verizon, Sprint, so on and so forth. Now we can show the device name instead. Um, it just has my name in there, so that's pretty boring. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. Next feature is well, more response and basically UI tweaks. So, this is it in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and take a look at tweaks, which is what you use to manage all this. And as we can see here, tap cards, which here, let's go ahead and turn that off. Take a look what happens now. You can just switch directly between the stack, which some people may prefer. I really liked the tab, so let's go ahead and leave that turned on. We can enable and disable the search icon, so boop, you're gone, you're back. And aside from that, you can actually change the type of gesture that is used. So let's go ahead and change it from swipe to slide. So let's see if I can get that. Yeah, so you got to make a little slide motion to switch now instead of just that, which is actually pretty nice when you think about it. So if you're somebody who's constantly hand, um, hands-on with it and you're tired of accidentally switching between applications, having that enabled to the slide feature would be pretty nice. You can also do fluid, which has you do a little bit of a squiggly instead of just a normal slide, which, once again, helps prevent accidental switching between of <clears throat> pages, and that's also the case for the status bar item trigger, which I'm not gonna mess with right now. So this is just a quick look at the Luna CE. You can get that if you have a HP touchpad through Preware now. It's a pretty quick and easy install. You just have to go into Preware, of course, and hit the install button, but you do have to have alpha feeds enabled. If you don't know how to, ha how to enable your alpha feeds, it's probably for a decent reason. But go ahead, check out the WebOS Internals Wiki, and they will have information on there, including a disclaimer on what you need to do in order to be able to enable that. So if you feel up to it, go right ahead. Other than that, this is Jeremy from The Ishist, and that is my cat. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Hey, guacamole. And I am signing off for tonight. Take care.